Welcome back to the Movement PhD. Today I'm going to do a quick review of the convex concave rule. We're going to use our knee joint as our example here. So let's go over the rules first. When we have a convex surface moving on a concave surface, the roll and slide are going to be opposite. And when we have a concave surface moving on a convex surface, then the roll and slide are going to be in the same direction. Remember, convex just means rounded. So in our case, the, the distal aspect of the femur is convex because it's rounded. The proximal articulation of our tibia is concave. So let's go through our open chain movement. So let's ask ourselves our questions. So in an open chain knee extension, we have fixed our femur. So we're sitting on a chair and we're extending our leg out. So we have tibia on femur movement. So we are, ask ourselves our first question, which segment is moving? In this case, it's the tibia. Then we ask ourselves our second question. What is the surface of the tibia? Well, it is concave. So now we have our rule. We have concave moving on convex. That means the roll and slide are going to be in that same direction. So for extension, now we ask ourselves our last question. Which direction is it moving? Well, it's moving anterior. So therefore, for open chain, knee extension, we have an anterior roll and an anterior slide. So for knee extension, anterior roll, anterior slide. So let's look at knee flexion open chain. So we're starting with a straight leg. We flex our knee. So we're doing a seated hamstring curl. So let's ask ourselves all those questions again. What segment is moving? Tibia. Concave or convex? It's concave. Therefore, the rule is roll and slide in the same direction. What is the direction? And now it's posterior. So for open chain knee flexion, we have posterior roll and we have posterior slide.